Okay, so any questions? Yes. Uh, the question was, how do we get around the parties? Aren't the parties, uh, uh, so the, the person asking the question said, uh, these parties are corrupt, the DNC is corrupt, how do we get around it, right? Is that right? So, okay. Um, this is a little bit of a hack, right? Uh, we are, in, in the sense of a, in computers, right? We're, we're kind of hacking the system with the BNC. Uh, what we're talking about doing is winning the Democratic primaries and winning the Republican primaries with, and, and this is based on this crazy premise that the vast majority of Americans agree on a core set of values and that even pro-choice and pro-gay rights human rights for all, right? Economic progress for all, this crazy idea that that is now actually standard belief of the majority of people in just about every congressional district, if not every congressional district, right? So, and, I, and, I, and there's a lot of research that shows, all kinds of polling and stuff that shows that this is in fact the case. And so our, you know, our brothers and sisters who uh, live in uh, red, deep red districts and who may have uh, different positions on some of these issues that actually that a whole that millions and millions of them have come around to say and maybe they never actually felt differently have come around to say yeah no actually we are not the people who want to pass laws telling other people what they can do with their bodies we are not the people who want to pass laws uh, to round up millions of people that is not actually us and there are a lot of people who have traditionally been Republicans and especially people who are Christians, right, and uh, and who are who feel like they are not represented by this crazy, uh, by these crazy leaders who just took over the Republican Party, right? So um, so that is creating an opportunity. Uh, and so what we're talking about doing in the hack is that in the um, in the Democratic districts, we're going to get a coalition together of people who share all these values and who are sick and tired of watching this country be destroyed uh, by special interests, right? And uh, be, be gobbled up by this crazy financial insurance sector, right? Just to totally destroying our economy over and over and over. Uh, and, that there's, there's a, and that there's actually a, a majority of people that are fed up and want a change. And it's hard to win a Democratic Party primary traditionally. Right, uh, because of the sort of inertia, I think was one of the words you used. And so, what we're trying to do here, the premise here, is that we're going to take this, we're going to take Bernie's plan, and we're going to actually turn it into the plan that everybody kind of thought was Bernie's plan. And it's going to have a huge economic growth, a huge economic growth uh, plan uh, built into it. Right? We're going to be talking. This, you know, we're not talking about a little jobs program. Uh, you know, to uh, repave some roads and fix some bridges. We're talking about massive transformation of the economy. Let's switch over to 100% renewable energy. And why don't we do it in like six years when we do know that that's possible, right? We're talking about building missing industries, industries that we just do not have in our economy and that we could have built like all the other industrialized countries. And why has the real wage been going down in America for 40 years? It's because we just decided we don't need these industries, you know? We have all these, like, intellectual Democrats, actually, who are like, no, actually, we're going to be, uh, you know, knowledge workers, you know? Uh, we don't need to make anything anymore. Well, half your iPhone is made in Germany, Switzerland, and Japan by workers that make $100,000 a year. We didn't decide. We just decided, eh. Who, need, who wants to work in a factory, right? And so what I'm saying is that if we get a coalition of people that are angry about this, which is the majority of the people, and people that actually, and if we put a plan in front of them, like this plan that I'm sort of awkwardly trying to explain, then we get a hack that can defeat the incumbent in the Democratic primary and in the Republican primary. And that's going to mean getting independents to come out and vote in the primary. And it's gonna mean getting people to switch parties and go vote in the primary where the candidate that's fighting for this plan is. And we tried uh, in a bunch of states to do that for Bernie, didn't we? And we saw some pretty amazing results. But again, we started, and when I say we, I mean we in Burlington, not you guys, because you guys were calling us every single day for the past 10, 11, 12 months saying, why aren't we changing everybody's registration? Why aren't we telling people to, uh, you know, why aren't we informing about how they need to vote? You guys were on it, 
and we're starting this today, two and a half years before the election. And so, yeah. so, so, you know, are we going to win all the primaries? Are we going to win all 400 primaries that we target? Uh, yes. Pro yes, I think. Okay, that's the California spirit. All right, that is why you guys are so awesome here. Uh, okay, but let's say we don't win in a few of them. Then, then we're going to come back and we're going to run an independent. Okay, so we're going to have two waves of candidates. First, we're going to compete in the primary, and then we're, and then, so imagine, so imagine we win, you know, 40, 50. Imagine we win 20. Imagine we win 180. I don't know. But then America, you know, those Americans that weren't tuned in in the beginning, they will have heard about you. And then we say, and they're going to be saying, oh, man, I missed my chance. And then we're going to say, no, there's another chance in November. And here you go. Here's an independent. Put them in there. Oh, she asked, uh, what are the chances that Bernie uh, will ever mention this or endorse it? So I'm just going to give the mic to Bernie. <laughs> no, I think, you know, uh, a bunch of folks have, we, you know, we've, uh, this question comes up a lot. I don't know. My, my response is that, um, you know, Bernie is going to uh, need to go be president, okay? And, and then he is... And I think it's up to us to show that this whole thing is possible, right? And so I, I almost feel like we should say, Bernie, don't endorse us. Do your work with the Congress you have, and we're going to get you a new one. Don't even worry about us, right? So, yeah. Okay, uh, yeah. So the question is, why 400? And, uh, and so it's kind of a nice round number. And there's, <laughs> there's 468 that are up in uh, 2018, because they're not, not all the Senate's up every time, right? right. So um, who, wh there's going to be a process. There's gonna, the, the process that we've been talking about is that there's going to be a, a, a big volunteer board of people that we can really, you know, that are sharp and are, have good judgment. And, th you know, they'll be uh, doing a lot of the research and plowing through this. And uh, there's got to be at least 68 um, really awesome progressives in Congress. So, and who knows, maybe there's not 68 that we feel like will really fight for this plan. And uh, so maybe the actual number is 410 that we'll be contesting. I don't know. Um, and it's not going to be up to me. So. Oh, um, whether or not there's going to be a very specific issues related platform that we'll be following. And absolutely, 100% Bernie's platform. Woo! And I say that, I say that because... We, we, in going to North uh, Carolina, there were, I mean, there are places where a Democrat hasn't won in like 40, 50 years, right? The question was, are we going to allow them to have a super PAC? Uh, yeah, who wants a super PAC? No. no. And who needs a super PAC? No. no. Yeah, some people do, don't they? Yeah. Right, some people do need super PACs. But Bernie just raised over $210 million, right? Yeah. So I think some significant percentage of that came from this mostly working class audience right here in this because you guys are crazy and you donate so much. So and that's how it works. So, yeah. So I think this is going to be even bigger. So, yeah. Um, so she wants to know more about our experimental team that we're going to create in L.A. So I'll just explain a little more on this. So we're going to try to find out ways how we can reach more voters. We have all been, uh, most of us have been canvassing and phone banking. We know that works, and sometimes it doesn't work. This, yeah, uh, this is what we are going to try to do. We are going to try to create teams, try different methods. We don't know what those methods are. We're going to use your ideas to figure out what those new methods are beyond canvassing. We're going to try canvassing also. We're going to try different pitches. We're going to iron out how are you going to talk, talk to voters. How are you going to talk to red voters? How are you going to talk to blue voters about candidates? Trying to figure out new techniques to talk to those voters. Uh, so the question is that she's talking about like how we, uh, as a movement, going to talk about the more down ballot candidates, low, uh, more on a local scale. So this movement is more about the Congress, but it's, as, just like Bernie's movement, we're going to activate volunteers, activate people to look at local politics. We're going to give them all the tools they need to talk about local politics. But this movement right now is to is designed. It was created before. Uh, Months ago, idea came out months ago. We want to give Bernie a new Congress yes. because, yeah. as a president, he needs a new Congress to work with. Ben has a suggestion that we should be sponsoring petitions to change the voting system. And again, I would say, 
that's an amazing project. And there's a lot of people working on that project, and we should support the people working on that project. Very, very important project. And, and you know, everybody that's getting involved in BNC, um, our focus is to figure out how to achieve this goal of getting people that back Bernie's plan, and it's like Bernie's plan plus, because we're going to have this massive, you know, a jobs program, actual conversion to 100% uh, renewable energy and a bunch of other stuff, and we need. And our goal is to get a majority, a super majority in Congress that will pass that. And I think we're willing to. You know, we're going to play. We're going to be really strategic, and we're going to do whatever it takes to get there, right? And so, you know, whatever it takes. Yeah. So we've also reached that part in the meeting where we're going to ask you to donate to the BNC. Okay. So the now here is why we're asking you to donate all the money donated today including the money that came in earlier today from all around the country is going to go for an office in, or offices in Los Angeles okay or this or the Los Angeles area so we need an office here for your team to work out of for that voter contact team to work out of and then so that they can call you and tell you come on down we're trying out this new way of building our list of voters okay so, uh, so all the money today that gets donated today, uh, brand new Congress is actually a federal PAC, not a super PAC. You, if you're if you're going to elect candidates, you have to have a PAC. That is the law of the land. As soon as we get a handful of candidates, the PAC goes away, and then all the money just goes to the candidates, and then we get more candidates, and then all the money just goes through the candidates. But right now, we, there's a federal PAC organization. That's a totally transparent organization, so you can see where all the money goes and all the money that comes in and everything and the um and there's a contribution limit of five thousand dollars so it's not you know no billionaires can pour money in so uh okay so it's really easy to donate if you get your phone out and so all the money and we will report in an email back to you how much you raise to open offices in la so go to brandnewcongress.org and guess what uh, and then scroll all the way down to the bottom we should have it at the top but scroll all the way down to the bottom to the dollar sign click on that dollar sign that's our donate button and donate and we use act blue so it's the same as bernie so if you're logged in if you donated to bernie last week or last night um, it'll take you exactly one click to donate to the brand new Congress. So, all right, so everybody make a donation, and then, uh, and then, and if you want to give us a check for made out to the brand new Congress, that'll work too. Uh, just hand it in up here. All right, Yoli, uh, and then now Yoli's going to tell you how excited she's going to feel when she sees your donation. <laughs> okay, these guys know what I look like when I'm super excited. I've, I've led so many rallies and things. But I guess at the end of the day, you guys, and I get really emotional about this because I, you know, on that night, June 7th, and I was up at the rally in Santa Monica with a lot of you, and I just, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't sad because I knew we had won. I knew we had won and that we're still looking at winning. But, but what made me really sentimental was just knowing all the hard work that we've all done, everything that we've done, and we're going to keep doing that. And I love you all, and this brand new Congress is just the, it's the organic evolution of what we've been doing, you guys. So let's just take that love and, and spread it everywhere and build this new Congress and freaking change things for this country now! Okay, just a thank you for everybody who came out. This is just the beginning of a longer process, so have a wonderful night. We're all going to be here to chat, but for those who are locked back there and back there, um, we'll have the formal part. And